Hello and welcome back to uh, section 7 of Strategic HR um, Business Partnership uh, Program. Uh, this is the last of four sections where we've taken a very close look at strategic advice and counsel. But so far what we've looked at are, is really what we would call the what of what we would be suggesting, what would we be uh, discussing, what would we be introducing to the organization as a topic for them to determine whether or not they're up to speed, whether it can make a difference to them, um, what they might have to do you know, to improve. What we haven't looked at yet, and what we intend to look at in this section, is uh, how we go about doing that. And in particular, the capabilities that we need to be able to offer things like strategic advice and counsel. So again, for the first time, and we'll do more on capabilities as we go through the program, but for the first time we're starting to introduce to you the idea of what we do, uh, but also how we do it. And this is part, again, of the learning of the previous years of what we've gone through, um, discovering the idea, discovering the, the what of uh, what needs to be delivered, and then having to work out, well, how do we do that, and what sort of capabilities do we need within HR if these services are so different from the ones historically we've been capable uh, of, of delivering. And you can't really get more different than um, strategic advice and counsel from an administrative welfare service, you know, of all. So again, have a look at the material, uh, see what you think of it, work your way through it, and I'll be back with some summary messages for you at the end of the section. I'll see you soon.